Hello dear traders. My name is Kate and these are the main trading ideas for the current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with the euro against the dollar. The pair is trading near 1.117. The European currency was supported by the weakening dollar. Speaking at a conference in Jackson Hole on Friday, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell confirmed his readiness to cut the interest rate, which is currently at its highest level in two decades. Against this background, traders have revised their forecasts and now expect a decrease in the cost of borrowing by 25 basis points in September, and in total this year, the rate may be reduced by 100 BP. In addition to the weakness of the dollar, the market sentiment is also on the side of euro buyers, according to which the majority of traders remain in short positions on the pair, which increases the likelihood of the market moving against the crowd. Analysts recommend holding long positions, with a target of 1.125. Next pound against the dollar. The pair is trading at 1.32. On Friday, Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey said at the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium that long-term inflationary pressures in the national economy are easing, but there is no need to rush to cut interest rates further, as the risks of accelerating inflation remain. Bailey also noted that the costs of a long-term hawkish course, such as a decrease in output and an increase in unemployment, will not have a significant impact on the UK economy, and it will be able to make a soft landing. Given the high probability that the Bank of England will not cut the rate in September, the pound may continue its upward momentum. And finally, Australian currency against dollar. The pair holds its positions at 0.678. Investors are awaiting the publication of July data on retail sales on Friday. According to preliminary estimates, the indicator will show growth from 0.1% to 0.5%. If the forecasts are confirmed, this will increase the risks of long-term inflation above the target range of the Reserve Bank of Australia, as a result of which the regulators' officials may return to tightening monetary policy. Earlier, the head of the department, Michelle Bullock, announced the possibility of another rate hike. In addition, the weakness of the American dollar will continue to provide additional support to the Australian currency amid expectations of a rate cut. So, these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.